Extraction shooters have the perfect formula to be the next big thing since battle royales. At least that's what myself and so many other people seem to believe. Is it subjective thinking? Absolutely, but it does not stop the fact that these games do have the ability to take the gaming realm by storm if they're done correctly. Let's look at Call of Duty's DMZ game mode for example. Now, it left a lot to be desired in the genre, but it allowed for so many creators to develop these massive audiences across the board with a more casual community that has never even heard of hardcore titles like Escape from Tarkov. Believe it or not, that actually happened to be a lot of people's first experience with an extraction slash survival style of a shooter, and they ended up being fans of it. I believe that this can actually tie into who can steal the show and be an extraction shooter's equivalent to Fortnite when it's all said and done. And no, I'm not saying these games can and will be as big as Fortnite. We all know that that title is an entity of its own at this point. I just use that as a reference because of how it became the world's perennial BR, but I digress here. For my people that are watching this and have no idea what an extraction shooter even is in the first place, I gotcha. Check this out. An extraction shooter is a subgenre of shooters where the primary goal is to collect valuable items and or complete objectives in a hostile environment and then extract them to secure your gains, okay? These games often tend to blend PvP and PvE elements, which for those that don't know, PvP is player versus player and PvE is player versus the environment, thanks the AI and whatnot, right? These type of games blend those two elements and they emphasize risk and reward overall. So players find themselves having to strategically navigate the map, manage resources, decide when they engage in combat, while contending with other players and AI enemies. This growing genre, of course, is known for its tense atmosphere, the requirement of careful planning, stealth, and also can be played solo or in teams. Now, when it comes to extraction shooters, there are some currently on the market right now. The number one go-to for PC players, at least right now, is Escape from Tarkov. That was created by Battlestate Games, and it is a title that you honestly might need an undergraduate degree to excel in, at least from a knowledge standpoint. There are a couple other options out there, like for example, Marauders or Star Siege Dead Zone, but I will be honest, those games might leave the average player feeling like there is a lot left to be desired. Now, if you are a console gamer, your options are even more limited to games like Call of Duty's DMZ mode that, let's be honest, they gave up on after a year, and then you also have Hunt Showdown, which in all honesty is actually a pretty darn good game. But when it comes to Hunt, that game isn't everybody's vibe and that's a-okay. So truth be told, the market is wide open right now, especially when it comes to casual and console gamers. Good news is that there are a ton of contenders that are on the horizon. Just to name a few, we have Ark Raiders that is being developed by Embark Studios, the people that just released the critically acclaimed game, The Finals. We got Marathon that is being developed by Bungie somewhere in the multiverse. We don't know where, but it's in development right now. And then we also have The Division Heartland that is being developed by one of Ubisoft's studios called Red Storm Entertainment somewhere in a secret lab in Narnia. The super cool thing about these three titles right here though is that they will be released simultaneously on PC and consoles alike, right? That's going to be massive for these three games because if done right, they'll have a massive opportunity to break onto the scene due to the casual fan bases that are on console. Now, if they're done wrong, they're gonna be laying in the graveyard next to the millions of dollars lost within a month, let's be honest. At the same time, I believe these titles will have the greatest chance to make a splash because they are backed by AAA developers, or in the case of Embark Studios, a development team that has a ton of AAA experience and moolah. But let's call a spade a spade here. We know AAA studios have been getting rocked by the indie studios as of late, so I wouldn't be surprised if that trend continues this way. Yes, I'm looking at you, Power World. Keep freaking giving it to Nintendo and the Pokemon company, will ya? But I digress though. Now on the flip side, I would be completely stupid if I did not mention a few extraction slash survival shooters that are being developed by independent studios but have raised the eyebrows of the masses online. So let's talk about those a little bit. We have Grey Zone Warfare that is being developed by Madfinger Games and it looks like it will be an incredible experience upon early access here in Q1 2024. I'm counting down the days even though we don't have a release date just yet. <coughs> let's get that rolling please. We have Beautiful Light that's being developed by a company called Deep Worlds SA that is taking a spin on the entire genre even though it is still what I would consider to be in its infancy. Definitely looking forward to checking that out though. 
And then we have Pioneer that is being developed by a studio called GFA Games that we don't know a ton about if I'm being honest, or at least I don't which in that instance, I really need to educate myself there. I'm sorry in advance, but I digress yet again. Based off of everything that I have seen and or partially experienced, the level of ambition that these developers have for these titles are second to none. My only caveat I have is that they will not be released simultaneously on consoles as they go into their respective early access stages. This will leave my console homies on the sidelines until further notice, but at the same time, I do recognize that it might not be possible to release an early access title on consoles from a logistical standpoint with Sony and Microsoft's store policies, as well as from a financial standpoint, because let's remember, these are independent studios. Now that I think about it, that's typically why games don't come to console until they're at least in an open beta stage. So those limitations are out of their hands, but even with those holdups, I believe they can still make massive splashes and create such a wave that they could still reign supreme without console support at launch. My two cents here though, is that the title that releases first with the least amount of bugs, an addicting gameplay loop, and a plethora of legit content will set the bar for everyone following. And it doesn't matter if it is out of the ones that I've mentioned or not. Based off of the previous Fortnite formula, we know that if the bar is set high enough, nothing else will ever hold a candle to it. I mean, we're still seeing Fortnite dominating and reimagining the battle royale scene five and a half to six years later while Warzone is still searching for itself and Apex has evolved into a professional tournament every single match. I truly believe this is like the gaming equivalent of the race to the moon. Whether you believe that the moon landing was real or not, just the thought of it has to excite you though, you know? We have hundreds of talented and passionate developers working to break through in a genre that really has not hit the mainstream just yet. If and when it does, man, oh man, I can only imagine the beautiful games that they will bestow upon us. But what do you all think though? This is the part of the video that I would love to hear from you all down below in the comments, all right? Are you looking forward to the extraction shooter slash survival shooter craze, or could you care less? Which title do you believe will release first? Which titles do you believe will have success, and which ones do you believe will fail? Let me know down in the comments below, and until next time, we are signing out. Peace!